tactical shooters. This is a genre in gaming that is slowly emerging as a true contender in the first person shooter genre with the likes of Hunt Showdown and Escape from Tarkov. These games, and specifically Escape from Tarkov, may be shaping the next wave of tactical games to come both not only on PC, but consoles. But is Escape from Tarkov worth buying in the year of 2020 as a newcomer, as a casual gamer? Let's discuss. GoBot here. Today we are going into my first ever review here on the channel as we are jumping in to Escape from Tarkov. This is made by Battlestate Games and it is currently on PC and uh, it's an early access and let me just give you my general thoughts and discussion uh, off the cuff, no script here and I'm just going to talk about my experience with the game currently 45 hours in. I've reached level 10 through a lot of trial and errors but I wanted to just show you my thoughts, give you my thoughts, my perspective as a newcomer, a casual coming into this game and kind of give you my perspective and thoughts as a player in the year of 2020 and if this game is actually worth purchasing as a casual newcomer to the world of Escape from Tarkov. So. If you're new to this game, or if you've watched very little of it, uh, the core gameplay loop of this game is fascinating to me. You raid, when you go into your map, you raid, you try to loot or kill, and then the end goal is to escape or you die. Uh, once you're out of the raid, you can sell items, you can buy items, and then you re-gear your PMC and you get ready to go back out on another raid. This is the core gameplay loop you have going into this game, and once you do finally reach level 10 like I have finally done, it really opens up the game to you as now, once you reach level 10, you have all of these dealers that you've been selling and buying gear from, uh, the prop or the therapist, fence, skier, peacemaker, mechanic, and ragman, um, and Jaeger. You can finally get out of having to buy and sell things from them and you unlock the flea market uh, option which is now where you can buy and sell items, gear, weapons, whatever from real life players. So you can sell gear you find and buy things from other players that you may uh, want to have. So this is a really impactful thing into the game because now items like fuel, which yes were re really useful in your hideout to be able to produce say Selua uh, health items, but now you can sell those things for a extraordinary amount of money compared to what you would get from the dealers. So this is all part of this core gameplay loop y'all, which in my opinion is super addictive and also very, very uh, Sweat inducing, challenging, panic inducing. I mean, it, it's got so many things. There's so many things with Escape from Tarkov, y'all, that just uh, you can't match it with any other game out there. Maybe Hunt Showdown to an extent, but EFT Escape from Tarkov is just its whole. It's a whole other beast. It's such a tactical military type shooter. Um, you're not coming into this game as far as gameplay. Don't expect the smooth, tight gunplay that you get from a Call of Duty, which is not, you know, realistic in any terms of the imagination when it comes to a tactical shooter. Uh, come into this game expecting something more like a Rainbow Six Siege, but more weighted, more grounded. Uh, the weapons, the ballistics from your bullets, the gear you're wearing, the weight, the sound, all of it comes into a beautiful package here in Escape from Tarkov that really just puts you in, into this world, into your map, and whether you're a PMC or you're a SCAV player, uh, every single time you raid, it's a story you're telling there, it's an adventure you're going on, and every single time it's going to have some sort of variance or difference uh, that makes this game worth coming back to raid in and raid out, and I absolutely am having a great time with it. So, talking about one of the most satisfying things in this game, which may be controversial to some, but uh, as you look at your stash, and, and even just your, with your rigs and your backpacks and everything, this game is a it, right up, it's a Tetris looting type of style of game, similar to what Resident Evil games have done since their inception. Uh, you come in, you get all your gear, and you have to make sure you can rotate and move your gear around to make it all fit into whether it be like a 3x4 or a 5x5 or a 10x14, whatever your capacity is for your stash, your bag, your rig, whatever it may be, you have to fit items in, kind of like Tetris, like I did in Resident Evil, and I, it's just something I find so... Uh, appealing aesthetically to me, but um, it just it, it really makes this game feel more tactical even in that sense. I mean, not just from the gunplay, not just from the map knowledge and things you have to do in terms of the gameplay. Now you're having to tactically gear yourself and move things around in your stash, your bag, your rig, whatever it may be, and I find that so satisfying and highly, highly addictive, y'all. 
Now turning in and talking now about the sound of this video game, y'all. The sound overall is fantastic. Minus some small things that I think will be touched up on once they move into Steam audio here pretty quick. Uh, there are some hollow sounding things, especially with wood and different types of things that I think need to be tweaked uh, to be a little bit more realistic because some sounds are just either A, way too echoey and hollow, uh, some things are way too crunchy at times, um, but overall the sound is fantastic, especially all the sounds from the guns, the gunfire from various meters away from, you know, five meters away right up in front of you to 200, 300, 400 meters away. The gunplay, the gun sounds are top notch. Uh, very, very good job. Well done by this team here at Battlestate Games and what they've been able to do with the audio. And I cannot wait to see what it looks like once they move into Steam audio and get that all hammered out there. Um, now, talking about going into this game, whether you're wanting to be a solo player or you want to be a team, co-op, trio, quad, whatever you want to do, um, Let's talk about that experience. So I've been playing primarily duos with my buddy and solos. So coming in as a solo player, it's a viable thing to do. If you're if you're one of those players you play solo, you can absolutely come into Escape from Tarkov and you can play the game solo. Now noted, it is going to be a challenge. It's going to be terrifying, but part of the game the gameplay loop of Escape from Tarkov is just taking your lumps, taking your losses. And if you go into a raid solo with duos, whatever it may be, you're going to fail at times. You're going to get rocked by players that know the map better than you. Maybe they have better gun skill than you. Maybe uh, maybe you were just in a wrong position at the wrong time. You're going to take your L's like I did early on where I was really frustrated with the game. But as you play and do more and more raids, learning the maps online and offline, I need to say, this is not a casual experience. You're going to have to sp spend time with this game in order to really grasp the full uh, the full uh, tactics and everything you can get here from Escape from Tarkov. So that time and effort spent in through the early matches, through your early raids and your failures, um, I was able to learn customs quite well in Interchange, which we'll see in the review here. Um, and now I'm a much better player in Escape from Tarkov than I was back when I was in the early, you know, first three levels of my gameplay. Uh, so it really rewards you for spending time and, and, and diving into the maps and diving into the, the gunplay and learning what guns you like to use. For me personally, I'm a big fan of the ADAR and just any AK. I really like those guns for single fire. Um, so I really, those are two guns I've kind of gravitated towards going towards those guns at this point. And I'm sure as I'll continue to level and get better, I'll find other weapons that you know, I kind of gravitate towards. But as far as going solos, it's viable. You're just going to take some hits. You're going to take some losses, learn from them, get better, and come back, raid in and raid out. And that's what Tarkov is all about, y'all. Uh, as far as teams, you can do that as well. And I think it's a far easier task rolling in, rolling in with a squad of two, three, four, five, whatever you've got out there. Uh, but one of the most rewarding aspects of the gameplay for Escape from Tarkov, y'all, I wanted to talk about is the fact that you're all kind of outside of uh, your skills that you develop as you play. Even if you're geared out and you have a tremendous gun, the playing field is still very even because all it takes for most gear types and everything you're wearing, it takes one headshot and you're done no matter what. So uh, an example of this I want to talk about, you're not going to see gameplay of it, but an example of this is my buddy, me and him were playing on customs and we are going up to the bridge, uh, heading towards the bridge to cross over towards the gas station. And as we were coming across the train tracks, we saw a player with his back to us on the train tracks, and my buddy simply shot him one tap with a hunter to the head, dropped him, went over to loot him. He was a level 43 PMC, fully decked out, had all this great gear, M4s, all this stuff. High level player. My buddy was like level 16 at the time. I was like level four at the time. And of course that geared us out. We were, he was able to get all that stuff up and sell it on the market and get tons of money out of it. That's how this game can be. For that level 43 player, probably very frustrated because he just lost all of his gear. Now there is a way you can get gear back of course through the insurance systems as you go into raids uh, before you do, you can ensure your gear going into the match from any of the vendors, like the prop orb. And basically what happens is if 
you die in a raid as a PMC, a player uh, main character out there. If you die, get killed in action, your gear is out there to be looted by whoever for the remainder of that match. If your gear is not looted by any players or anything, that gear will then be rewarded back to you as insurance in your uh, messenger. And then you can put that stuff back in your stash or on your player. So there is ways to get things back, but uh, for that player, since we are so low level, he was a level 43 with all this really good gear, he lost everything. Didn't get anything back with the insurance. That's how this game can be. Even a low level player with a good shot, good map knowledge can pick off anybody. And it does help obviously to be higher level with higher gear, better stuff, but poor map knowledge or positioning can cost you. And one poorly missed shot, if you shoot first and you miss and I shoot first uh, right after you and I hit, that's it, man. That's all it is. So that, that part of the gameplay just is so immersive. It's so uh, sweat inducing. It really is, y'all. But that's just, it keeps bringing me back game in and game out, raid in, raid out, y'all. Because you never know. Will this be a raid you go in there and you frag like crazy? Or is this going to be a raid where you go get dropped? You don't know. Uh, you just, you know, you have different types of play styles. Uh, another great thing about this game is it doesn't tell you how you have to play the game. Okay, the only true objective is in the title of the game. Escape from Tarkov. That's your primary objective. Get out alive. You can be in there to loot and scoot with no gunplay at all. You just want to loot and scoot and get out of there. Or you can go in there frag and scoot. You want to go kill scabs. You want to go kill PMCs. Gear up and loot and then get out of dodge. But with all of those types of play styles, there's risk and reward and high risk and very high reward potential out in this game. Because you can come in there with a hatchet and that's it and go in there and loot and loot and loot and come out with M4s and all this other loot and have a tremendous reward. Or you can go in there fully geared, die, and lose all of your gear. That's the way this game works. That's what keeps you going. This game is not about necessarily valuing your gear, more so than valuing your player's life, okay? And that's something I think that's so intriguing about this game. Uh, it's so much fun. It brings me back time and time again, y'all. Um, there's various things you can do to level up, of course, by killing players, by uh, completing certain tasks that you get from dealers, kind of like missions or objectives that you can do variously throughout, like early on from the therapist, you have to find five Seloas and sell them to her. Uh, and basically that gives you loot from her and experience for the vendors and your player overall to level up. So overall, what is Escape from Tarkov? It is a tactical first person shooter RPG. You could play it solo, duo, trio, quads, quintuplets, whatever you wanna do out there. You can play up to five players in a squad, but it is a true, just tactical game. It's got great gunplay, great sound design, a very satisfying core gameplay loop that brings me back game in and game out. It is honestly one of the most unique gaming experiences that I've ever had in any video game. This is not a casual game like I said before. You will come in to this game and you will die. It will test your patience. But if you take the time y'all to learn from your lost raids and take the time to learn maps, ammo and gear types, you will slowly and surely become a better Escape from Tarkov player. And for me, it is certainly worth a buy depending on if you want to come in and get the standard edition or you want to go in here and get the brand the, the highest of the highest, you know, $150 Ultimate Edition. It is worth whatever edition you want to purchase, purchase in 2020. I absolutely am loving this game. As a newcomer to Escape from Tarkov here in 2020, as a casual coming in and now growing and learning about this game, I can honestly say Escape from Tarkov is now my new gaming addiction, and I cannot wait to queue up in my next raid and see what adventures await. All right, and that's going to do it, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed my first review here on the channel as we jumped into the Escape from Tarkov casual review here for 2020. And was it worth a buy? Again, I love this game. I think it's worth your time. If you enjoyed this review and you want to see me do more of these on the channel, please show your support by hitting that thumbs up button. Comment down below, hit that notification bell. Feel free to join and go watch gaming. Subscribe. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please have an outstanding rest of your day. And as always, I'll see each and every single one of you back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.